boom, quick hitter, MLB playoffs edition. I'm decked the fuck out in Phil's gear. I'm fired up. Bad advance to the next round to play the Braves. We're going to fuck them up and we're getting back to the World Series. Let's fucking go. I'm going to give you all my quick power rankings for the remaining teams. Uh, number nine, I got the Brewers. Uh, dynamic bullpen. Don't love the rotation. I know they got Corbin Burns. I know they got Brandon Woodruff, whoever the fuck. Don't love the back end there. Don't really love their lineup either. So think they can struggle. That's why I got them here at number nine. Obviously, a couple teams here already got eliminated. So if I missed anybody, you're going to call me out for it. Fuck you. Uh, D-backs coming in at number eight. Zach Allen, beast. Lineup, pretty solid. Don't love the bottom of it. Uh, bullpen, don't love it either. Uh, think that's going to cause them problems. Uh, down the line here, uh, I do think they'll get through through Milwaukee and on to the NLDS against the Dodgers. Coming at number seven, Minnesota Twins. Carlos Correa, pretty much mixed Mr. October, shows up to play in prime time in October every year. Don't love the rest of their lineup. Bullpen solid. Don't know if the starting pitching will hold up, uh, especially as they get deeper. Don't have any experience. You know, they just broke that long streak of not winning a fucking playoff game in like 18 playoff games. So don't love them there. Rangers coming in at number six. A lot of people going to rip on me on this one. Uh, Rangers, you know, not much experience there. I know they got a great lineup. I know the starting pitching has been pretty dynamic. I know, you know, I don't know. We'll see what happens with Scherzer. John Gray, been an electric signing for them this year. Think they'll be decent. Got a shot. Here's the kicker with the Rangers. ERA for the bullpen, a 477 bullpen ERA. Uh, it's pretty much by the bottom of the entire American League, even the teams that aren't in the playoffs. So think that'll catch up to them uh, as they get into some of these deeper lineups and deep into games in the postseason. Coming at number five, Dodgers. Don't love their uh, starting pitching. Don't love their bullpen lineup. Decent. I think we've seen some better Dodger lineups in years past. Like I said, just don't know if they got the juice this year. But who knows? Maybe they'll make me eat my words. Coming at number four, Orioles. Obviously, one of the best teams in the AL. One of the best teams in baseball. Here's my issue. Pitching isn't great. And Bautista, closing pitcher, just got injured. Don't know how long he'll be out for. Don't know if he'll miss any time. Might, you know, screw with his psychic a little bit. Uh, Orioles have no fucking experience either. Nobody here has played a playoff game. Uh, a lot of young, exciting, prospect-esque talent on their team. Dynamic team to watch. Been super fun all year long. Need experience this time of year. You know, you need to guy, have guys who, who, who get the job done. We haven't seen it because they haven't been there. So that's why they're lower. Number three, you know who I got to go with, the Phils. I think the Phils come in right at number three, built for the playoffs, Best home field atmosphere in the entirety of the playoffs. That bodes so well for them. Uh, I think, you know, they're going to be a team to beat every time at home. Um, and even on the road, you know, they, 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 they'll they be ready for any crowd. You know, Wheeler looked dynamic last night. Nola pitching well right now. I think the bullpen's cleaning itself up. Confident in the fills. Um, almost put them at number two, but the Braves have just been way better this year. That's why I got the Braves at number two. Um... I don't want to say way better. Uh, the Phillies did beat up on them towards the end of the regular season, so something to look out for there. Think you could interchange Phils and Braves. No, I might be a little biased. Probably can't tell. Um, but, yeah, Phils at three, Braves at two. Going with the Astros at number one. I know they won the AL West kind of on the last couple days, last day of the season. Weren't as strong. Weren't, you know, a little bit all over the place this year. They got Altuve back late from injury. I just think, you know, they did it last year. They're, they're the team to beat right now. They're the reigning champs. So that's my top, uh, you know, power rankings for the playoffs. And I will see you all next time. Boom.